Hello, I'm Emma reporting from the Royal Academy of Arts and today we're here for the preview of Charles I, King and Collector. Let's go and take a look. Charles I, King and Collector reunites 140 of the most important works for the first time since the 17th century, providing an unprecedented opportunity to experience the collection that changed the appreciation of art in England. During his reign, King Charles I assembled one of Europe's most extraordinary art collections. By the time of his death, it contained some 2,000 paintings and sculptures. Charles I, King and Collector, explores the origins of the collection, the way it was assembled and what it came to represent. During his reign, Charles I acquired and commissioned exceptional masterpieces from the 15th to the 17th century. Um, well, I think this is um, particularly interesting, this painting, because um, unlike many of the Van Dykes that we see in the exhibition and in the collection of Charles I, um, th this isn't actually a, a state portrait. Well, it wasn't intended to be a state portrait. Um, this painting was painted um, as a study, believe it or not, um, by Anthony Van Dyck in around 1635 to be sent to the sculptor Gian Lorenzo Bernini in Rome. Um, in order for him to make a marble bust of the king. Um, but I think what's amazing pictorially about this is that this is a study. This is, uh, this is for Benini to use um, to create a marble bust, um, which is why you have the king you know, from three in, in side profile, frontally and in three-quarter profile, and in a kind of array of, of different dress. Um, and a real celebration of fabric, which, you know, Anthony van Dyck would have known Bernini's sculptures. He spent sort of over five years in Italy traveling. He would have seen Bernini's celebration of fabric in his marble busts, and he knew what Bernini was going to want. Um, but what he does as well is he adds to it just this sort of extra je ne sais quoi, which yeah. isn't needed for a study for a marble sculpture. And this is Anthony van Dyck saying, mm -hmm. here I am, I'm court part painter to Charles I, King of England, um, and, 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 you know, be impressed, basically, both to Benini and, and to uh, potential clients in, in Europe overseas. This is a landmark exhibition that reunites one of the most extraordinary art collections in history. The exhibition runs until the 15th of April 2018 and it is definitely a must if you are visiting London. I've been Emma reporting for the Royal Academy of Arts. Thank you for watching.